A man convicted of murdering his wife by pushing her off a cliff in Rocky Mountain National Park will be back in a Denver courtroom tomorrow. Harold Henthorn is asking that his conviction for killing his second wife be overturned. As you may remember, CBS4 investigator Brian Moss first reported on Henthorn 10 years ago and now explains why Henthorn is back in court. How did your wife die? Harold Henthorn, who was convicted of shoving his wife Tony off a cliff in Rocky Mountain National Park in 2012, is now pushing back on the lawyer who defended him in that trial. Tony Henthorn's family has nothing but scorn for Harold Henthorn. I think she was deceived a lot and often about a lot of things. Henthorn is asking his conviction be thrown out and he get a new trial because his first lawyer, Craig Truman, was ineffective. In requesting the hearing, Henthorn wrote, Truman provided no defense and sold me down the river. Truman would not respond to the accusation, saying, we never talk about our cases outside of court. One of Tony Henthorn's brothers is Barry Bertolet. He's a sad individual. And the fact that, you know, apparently he doesn't have a, a life of his own, he has to fabricate a life. Harold Henthorn's appeals have so far all failed. The family of Tony Henthorn told CBS4, this latest motion is yet another example of Harold Henthorn blaming others for his failures and shortcomings. The hearing is expected to last two to three days. I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado First. Henthorn will attend that hearing virtually from the prison in Indiana, where he is serving his life sentence. Police and prosecutors also believe Henthorn killed his first wife in 1995. Lynn Henthorn died in Douglas County under mysterious circumstances.